Over the past two weeks, I have had one goal. That was to get my aim as snappy as possible. Kind of like these two guys. So those two guys that you've seen at the beginning of the clip, the one, first one was Nate Gibson and he plays on primarily a 120 FOV and he plays on an affected FOV, which means that when you ADS, it stays closer to your FOV. Now the game in definition, the second guy, he plays on a setting, I can't remember what it's called, but when you zoom in, it zooms into the default uh, field of view FOV. and I want you guys to take away from this is that no matter what settings you choose, there is no right or wrong setting. These two uh, guys, they play on two total different sensitivities, and they, you guys can see that their aim is just absolutely insane. And like I said, what I want you to take away from this is no matter what settings you choose, there is no right or wrong setting. You stick to that setting and you will succeed with it. So one thing that I have noticed and a lot of people are going to tell you this, that playing on, or just playing the game and getting good at the game will help you with your aim. And I'm here to debunk that and say that is not necessarily true. For people like me, I am not naturally gifted with insane aim, right? I've been playing on PC for the past four months now, and I have played the game, grinded Call of Duty out, and I can say that my aim has not gotten any better but my awareness and how to react to certain situations has gotten better. I'm learning the maps, learning where people are, learning where my teammates are, in correspondence to where um, the enemies are, that has helped me out a lot. My end game awareness is really well, but my aim hasn't really gotten better. So what I decided to do was actually train my aim. And what I did was for the past two weeks, I have been playing Kovacs I will leave a link in the description or in the description of the aim training that I did. And so basically what I did was I really wanted to nail down on my flick shots, my tracking, and my micro uh, movements. So how to do this is I went into Kovacs and I basically, like I said, I practiced for the past two weeks. I would do it before I streamed, I would do it after I streamed. And I would do this for every day for the next two weeks. And I can say results are pretty crazy. All right, everyone. So we are over in Kovacs and Kovacs is a really good uh, aim trainer. And basically what it does is if you want to get good at something, you practice it, right? If you want to get good at shooting free throws, you shoot a bunch of free throws. If you want to get good at jump shots, you, you practice your jump shots. You don't do it while you're in game or playing the game you do it outside of it it's called practice and a lot of really good players do this so i'm gonna here to help you set up your Kovex basically to have the same sensitivity and everything if you're playing call of duty and you can do this with any other game but primarily this is for call of duty and this is for pc aim so we're gonna go right into our settings here and the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to switch it to Overwatch, right? Because Overwatch 
is from the Blizzard app, and Overwatch and Call of Duty Modern Warfare have pretty much the same. Um, it's just pretty much it's the same. Okay, so you put it on Overwatch, right? My sensitivity in games at eight. Now I want to stress this: I play on a high sensitivity, right? And that's what's comfortable for me. Don't. There's no right or wrong way to have. The correct sensitivity it's down to personal preference it's like there's no right or wrong way to hold a mouse it's down to how you are comfortable with it. and not everybody holds their mice the same way not everybody has the same mouse right i have a g502 light speed and i palm grip and that's what i'm comfortable with nate gibson he claws game and definition he palm grips so there is no right or wrong way so you want to set this to overwatch. You want to set this to your sensitivity that you are using, right? In game in modern warfare. So if you play on a five, go five. If you play on a seven, go seven. If you play on a 12.3, switch it to that. This is just your sensitivity. You want to have lock or vertical and sensi vertical sensitivity locked to horizontal. You want to have that on. Then you want to have your horizontal 16 by 9, I play on a 24 inch uh, 16 by 9, 1080p. You can change this to however your monitor, but 16 by 9 is what I use and that's what really helps. My FOV is 120. My max FPS is 240 because I have a 240 hertz monitor. So I don't want to get, you know, 300 FPS and I don't want to get 300 FPS and go back to the game and it doesn't feel as smooth, right? I want 240, that's my refresh rate. And pretty much everything else is down to personal preference. Now for weapons, I have it on default. Um, I have my crosshair scale down a little lower. My zoom sense multiplier is a one. And this is uh, my crosshair color, I changed it. So that's pretty much what I play on. And this is what settings I use in COAX. Now I wanna stress that you wanna keep the same sensitivity throughout Kovacs, right? You don't want to change it. You want to stick to one that's comfortable for you and stay with it. Don't raise it. Don't lower it. Just stick with it, okay? So these are the Kovac settings that I use. So after two weeks of playing Kovacs, I can say that the end result is astonishing. And I am continuing to do Kovacs every day. Just because my aim has gotten to a point where I'm happy with it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop Kovacs because I always want to improve and it's always about improving. And one day I want to be known for being one of the best Call of Duty aimers in the world. And that has a lot to say about me personally. That's my personal goal. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you, it does. You, you can take away something from it and really learn about yourself and how your key, how to work with the keyboard and mouse and I really hope you guys did enjoy uh, this video let me know down in the comment section below if this setting and if these tips really helped you like I said in order to train your aim you have to train your aim in order to get good at something you have to keep training it right don't just play the game. Don't just think, oh, I'm going to play the game and I'm going to be really good at it. No, it doesn't work like that. As always, guys, this is your boy, the Dryer Newt, and I'll catch you in another video. Always remember to stay blessed and stay humble. Peace.